before leaving live, Ryan Seacrest expressed concern about his exhaustion. The departure of Ryan Seacrest from live with Kelly and Ryan came as no surprise to those on set. Indeed, the 48-year-old star appeared exhausted before leaving live with Ryan and Kelly, leaving his friends and colleagues concerned, according to multiple sources. Since 2018, the multimillionaire has been filming live, for which he is paid $10 million per year, as well as American Idol and his syndicated radio show, On Air with Ryan Seacrest, in New York City. And, according to one industry insider, fatigue has been the cause of Seacrest missing an increasing number of live shows over the last six months. All of this culminated in ABC executives quietly finalizing a deal last week for Reepa's husband, Mark Consulos, to take over full-time as her co-host. According to sources, the Consulos plan was only revealed to a small group of people. Consulos has frequently filled in for Seacrest, including a week-long stint in October of last year. Some of Ryan's absences created tension with everyone on the show, the insider explained but everyone loves and respects him, and they just want to make sure he's okay. His co-host and longtime friend, 52-year-old Reepa, who is on a $20 million a year contract, has rarely missed a day on the show in her 23 years. They began talking about Ryan leaving last summer, and when they announced Ryan's departure, both Kelly and Ryan wanted to put whatever issues arising from the workplace and Ryan's other responsibilities they had behind them, the insider added. They've known each other for 20 years and, regardless of recent strains, it is a real friendship. According to Page Six, ABC executives were concerned that Seacrest was overdoing it, and fans were concerned that he had suffered a stroke live on air when he appeared to slur during the American Idol final. Seacrest later cited exhaustion as the source of his problems. He then backed out of filming live just 30 minutes before the show was scheduled to air. According to a coworker, Seacrest finds the schedule punishing and despises living in New York City. Seacrest has been frequently traveling between his homes in Los Angeles and New York, according to a source close to him, and it's not just live. Ryan has to travel to audition cities for Idol, and they recently visited Hawaii. It's draining. It is hard doing live every day. It's a grueling schedule. There are double tapings and he runs between his radio show and live. He'll have a 10-minute break and they'll say, come and do someone liners for the radio show. According to a source close to Seacrest, it's all too much for one person to handle. He's not quite burned out, but he knows himself he needs a break. He's valued his time off with his family and loved ones in the last couple of years, said the source. Look, he signed up for three years and then signed another three-year contract, so he obviously enjoyed doing the show. According to the source, Seacrest, who grows his own olive trees and has been pressing olive oil to share with friends, is eager to work even more in the culinary field. He's very interested in learning how to make wine, and he loves to cooking, and this is the kind of thing he wants to invest in. Seacrest, who is worth an estimated $450 million, will now return to the West Coast full-time. Having recently sold his Beverly Hills estate for $51 million, his girlfriend, Aubrey Page, 25, lives in California, and she sent him a Valentine's Day message on Instagram this week, captioned, Loving you has been the adventure of a lifetime. He has a long history with ABC and will continue to host Idol, for which he has been paid more than $10 million, as well as the network's sing-along shows and his New York Rocking Eve special. He also produces The Kardashians on Hulu, the streaming service owned by ABC parent company Disney, and recently debuted The Watchful Eye on Freeform, which also Disney owned. Alongside this, the host's radio show deal runs up until 2025. On Thursday's Live, Seacrest and Reba announced his departure, which he will continue to appear on until the show is officially rebranded as Live with Kelly and Mark. Leaving was a tough, tough decision that was bittersweet, according to Seacrest on the show. Working alongside Kelly for the past six years has been a dream job and one of the highlights of my career, he said. There is nobody else like you, Reepa said on Thursday's show. I know you both in real life and on television. I only say this about a few people, you get what you see. This is not a performance, this is a good man. You never cease to amaze me. It was a collective decision that this was the time for Ryan to leave, said the industry insider. Reepa, Seacrest, and Consulos all made appearances on Friday. This is Reepa's third co-hosting gig since joining Regis Philbin's show in 2001 to replace Kathy Lee Gifford. Philbin's final show was in November 2011, and he died in July 2020 at the age of 88. Former NFL star Michael Strahan then co-hosted the show with Reepa from September 2012 until April 2016, when it was announced that he would leave live to join Good Morning America full-time. However, Strahan's departure was fraught with controversy, and Reepa was said to be enraged when it was revealed that she had not even been informed of the plans. Strahan has stated that the two no longer communicate. Before Seacrest was announced as Strahan's replacement, the show had a number of co-hosts. One friend of Reepa's told Page Six, There is a huge contrast between Ryan and Strahan's departure. This was by far the best relationship of Kelly's previous co-hosts. Mark has stood in for Ryan with greater frequency, and this was just the right time. 
Page Six has contacted Strahan's ABC representative. Ripa and Consulos are now empty nesters in their Upper East Side $27 million home, as their son Michael, 25, has moved out and their daughters Lola, 21, and Joaquin, 19, are in college. The couple, who have homes in the Hamptons, Colorado, and the Caribbean, are excited to collaborate after meeting on the soap All My Children. With their children out of the house and forging their own paths, the timing couldn't be better for them to return to being colleagues, said a Ripa acquaintance.